Oh, finally. Okay, nice, guys. We we finally have the Arthur card. So <laughs> Fucking Levi, man. Hey yo, chicks here. Today we're going to show you guys how to beat Floor 2 in the deer. Um, so we have reset it for the passive so that we get the good passive. So basically now we have the ult increasing passive. This is going to be the team. Let's take a little peek into the gear and also the artifact set. So yeah, that's basically it. And if you missed out to floor one, just definitely make sure to check it out. And floor three is gonna come very, very soon. And yeah, hopefully we are going to do well in floor two because um, just like floor one, I'm pretty much going in blindly. But yeah, um, let's have some fun. In the first turn, we're just going to burn those cards. And um, basically we want to try to use a single target two times every turn just in order to use or get the passive of melee in order to take less damage because yeah obviously taking less damage is always good right and yeah let's see what cards we're going to draw okay um a lot of t1 cards pretty nice also what i've noticed is of course also um in order to memorize what um what it's called what order you should use the cards for is um if you have the right positioning so for example here red green and then blue so here red green then blue so basically you you don't even have to look on the top right you can all just look if i use a card of her i i use a card of arthur next it's okay um at least only for floor one and uh, floor two and four right so i would say we're just going to maximize our card draw we can use this wait a second we can use this, we can use this, we can use this, and then we use this, and this is gonna maximize our card draw. Squeakers, yeah man, one fucking year, you are fucking awesome, thank you so much for the support man, and I don't know where the fuck the alert is. <laughs> but yeah, much much appreciated man, hope you're doing fine. Okay, um, the cards are terrible, but it's okay I guess, more or less. So, oh yeah, here, the alert is now here. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically we kill now and we want to keep, we want to keep one card of every color. So we can do this. We can burn this, that is fine. We can burn this. This should kill already. And um, we will show you guys why we need a card of every color or it would be the best to have that already so that you don't have to draw that because earlier i had the mistake so in one turn you have to use all three oh my god this is the bad passive right oh my god it's fine though um let's see what the last passive is going to be so in this turn we have to use or in general in order to break his buff so his buff is basically going to make every damage down to one and in order to remove it, you have to get the cycle once. So if we're going to do this, um, then we're going to do this, then we're going to do this, and then we burn this card. Basically, from now on, we can deal damage. And every two turns, we need to get frozen ourselves. Because in every two turns, he's using a card which deals 10k% percent of his attack. Which means we're just getting one-shotted. So um, definitely make sure that you're not going to fuck up like i did at the beginning which clip i showed you guys okay andy take care hope you are having a nice day so what we're going to do now is basically we can attack three times with uh looking at the um what it's called looking at the thingy or well if we yeah wait a second so if we do this it might dissolve right then we can do this t1 and then we attack with the green because now our Arthur gets frozen. So if you choose your T1 to get frozen, make sure that he doesn't have three or all his decks. So basically that he doesn't have immunity because if he has immunity, we are just screwed. Oh, well, or we just beat him and then we don't even have to get frozen. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see. Now what we should do is I guess here we can just burn those cards that won't harm and now we are going to just burn this card for now so let's see 
that's gonna be some decent damage and now it really depends on phase 4 what passive we are going to get because i would say um phase 4 resetting for the passive in phase 4 is the most annoying one even though we even have a pet uh even though we have a bad passive in um phase 2 already but yeah it's way harder to actually reset for the last passive because uh, there's only one passive we actually want it's going to be the one um which if he doesn't take damage he increases his attack so what we should do here is i would say oh wait he doesn't even have the um elemental thingy here i always forget um we want to slowly work on the t1 ult so we want to have the t1 ult in phase 4 because t1 is definitely one of the best ults for this deer and also uh we have to kill as fast as possible because her stance of the deer is really op so let's see okay hmm cards are kind of meh but we can get the t1 ult which is a good thing getting ulted here is fine i guess okay okay good um we should just probably rush the ult of t1 and it would be cool if this kills if not it is what it is i would say but yeah this deer is really boring it's it's less skill it's more about resetting it just takes way too much time but yeah okay cool we were able to beat this here and the passive is going to be um the revive passive so basically we don't want this passive but we're going to finish this we are going to quit out before we finish again because this is definitely not a passive we want to deal with in floor three because yeah obviously we want to reset for the other passive which i was talking about but basically this is a guide how to beat floor two so it is okay if we are going to do it like this and then i reset it on stream here right now and we are going to make a floor three video afterwards um we can ult with this we can ult with this we can attack with this and then we can ult with this yeah i guess but here as you can see t1 ult just deals so much damage so if you can save t1 ult um for the last phase that's the best also something else is um if you are going to if you are going to basically um attack with the wrong element first of all you get frozen but secondary you also only deal like 85 percent damage so basically you deal way less damage so it's not going to be worth it to use another card but yeah so now for now um we can use a blue card and we don't have a red card but maybe we even kill already right i think we can even kill so let's do this let's do this let's do this i think this will kill and then we have to quit out before before i uh kill for real because if i kill i would have to live with it in floor three right so yes you can see oh we get frozen <laughs> totally forgot about that <laughs> but yeah so here as you can see theoretically he would have been dead already right and um we would have finished but the only reason why we continue here is we want to show you guys um how to beat floor two so now basically we call it a day because as you can see if we are just going to use the cycle so we're going to use this card we're going to use the t1 card or even if we are going to um so if we are going to use yeah the single target and then the melee card it will definitely kill but as i said we're going to quit out because uh, i don't want to deal with the revive passive in floor three because that is just toxic right okay so here as you can see um he has like no hp anymore and he would definitely die that's why we quit out here okay guys what the fuck finally we have like the optimal passives um for floor one and two so basically this is the optimal passive we are looking for this is the best passive you can have um the second best is the 15 percent immediately and this one is the passive where you can actually make it where it's worth it to pass floor two so now basically um we got a really nice run so far um I guess we're just going to ult here then we're going to do this then we have to use a red card and then maybe taunting isn't bad i'm not too sure if the taunt will be worth it but i will just taunt it won't harm and yeah 
So let's see. This is a lot of damage already. And in this turn, basically, we want to... Or in this floor, in this phase, we want to kill him as fast as possible. So here, as you can see, we deal a lot of damage already. Um, Maybe rushing the ult of Arthur might have been not that bad. But I think we are fine. So since we can just use the Arthur card, we can um use the T1 card. And I think the melee might kill. The question is... Is the melee going to kill? So we can do this. We can do this. And if melee doesn't kill, we definitely get the ult of Arthur so we can one shot next turn. Right? At least if we... Okay, it won't kill. Frick. It's fine though. Um, The freeze won't be that bad. Um, Okay, nice. We actually got a... So I was like... Wait a second. We, we still need a Matrona card. And we actually have that. Very nice. Very cool. Um... Damn, he has a lot of health still. But yeah, let's see. Um, the best would be obviously if we... Okay, the stance is really annoying. So let me just click on the stance. I never read the stance. So the stance is... Assuming a stance for two turns inflicts damage equal to 1500 via counterattack when attacked. So basically... it w If we ult, it won't happen, right? Results in a miss when attacking enemies with a barrier. Okay, we don't have that. But yeah, um, so... We do this for now, so that we can use this card again. And I would say we are going to use this. And hopefully this kills. I really hope it's going to kill. So, I highly doubt it will kill, but who knows, guys. Yeah, it's not going to kill. I should have just rushed the T1 ult then. That's unfortunate, guys. Because now we can't attack anymore. Um, Fuck. This is bad. This is actually bad. I should have just... Oh, frick. Oh, well. Uh, now what we're going to just do is we are going to um, do this and we're going to stall a bit. So we're going to do this. We move this here. Wait a second. Isn't he... Ho, ho, ho. Choto Mateo. We just do this, this, this. Too bad we don't have this ult. But well, um, let's stance. Let's rather stance. Okay, let's see. This should work, right, guys? Damn, this takes so long. This this takes this took three minutes already, just for fucking last phase. <laughs> it's kind of sad actually, but yeah, uh, that is fine. It's a lot of damage, but it's fine. Immune. You sure that that immune will count? Because immunity is just for like. Oh fuck! Immune to buff cancel, but still, it stands cancel. You know, it should it should cancel the stance. Don't you guys think? We we try that out. You know, so we do this. We have to use this still. It won't. Melly doesn't work? Okay. Damn, that is annoying. Okay, we have to stall another turn then. Double immune? Like, how? Oh, what? That is That makes no sense that it doesn't work because stance cancel is a different card. But well, I will trust you guys at this point here. So we just get the T1 ult. And yeah, okay. At least we finally beat it. But damn, should I take this into the video? Because this this took like this alone takes over five minutes. Yes or no, guys? I think it's pretty important though. Oh my god, no. Oh no! Fucking Levi man. Okay, we got a decent um passive here in floor two, so. Those are basically almost the best passives. So here, instead of this one, getting the stacking one is way better because, yeah, obviously this one is at 15% immediately instead of like up to 20%, um, which most of the times don't happen. But yeah, um, let's see what we should do. I'm thinking of we should probably just do this. Damn, we can rush the ult again um, if we are going to not use the Escanor card. So I will actually use this card. 
I will ult here and we have to cycle of course again. So we are going to attack with um, this first and then this. And next round we're going to rush the Escano ult. So this unfortunately isn't much damage because yeah, we didn't have many stacks of melee. And also like we took a lot of damage. We had to tank an ult and we almost failed. So uh, <laughs> very, very nice. So very, very close. But yeah, so now we can just merge into a golden Escanor. But unfortunately, we don't have other cards. That is really, really unfortunate. Well, actually, we are getting... We're getting the ults back. So it is fine. We actually have... a uh, fuck. He has a dissolve, so we don't get the back, the ult. So we need a strip. So I think, actually, it might be smarter if I will just... So how much health does he have? If we are just going to... Yeah. If I'm just going to do this... And I can use the single target. The freeze is fine on melee. That won't matter. And hopefully... um we get some nice card draw. So let's see. Okay, that is nice. That was actually the perfect play because else we wouldn't have been able to attack. Um, or else we wouldn't have drawn this card probably. But yeah, okay. Whew, damn. This took over two hours to get this, guys. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Well, so we should hold with T1. Um, since we don't have a red card, let's just... Ult with this. Ult with this and... Actually, I should ult with... I should ult with him first. Because I uh, he, he he needs some lifesteal. So uh, I can't activate his increased damage anyway. So at least he... Did he even get lifesteal? Well, and that's basically it for the video. I really hope it was helpful or you enjoyed watching this. Um, definitely make sure to stay tuned for floor 3. And if you have missed the floor 1... Check that video out. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now.